Okay, this vehicle here is a B8 generation Audi A4. And this video is going to demonstrate how to reset the oil interval and the maintenance interval services. So, the vehicle can be on while you reset the oil and maintenance interval for this type vehicle, the A4 B8 generation. There is no button or certain sequence to press in order to reset the maintenance interval. However, you can go to the oil, turn, that on, turn the NMI, M, MMI on, and scroll over to the vehicle, the car, go to service and checks, and here are the service intervals. Next oil change, next inspection. So we want to reset the inspection and the oil. So you can reset the oil here on the MMI control unit. You can reset the oil, but you see there's no option for the inspection. So that's the way they program these vehicles. Unfortunately, they want you to take it into the dealerships or for free maintenance or whatever, and then they end up hitting you with some things that you don't need and some crazy, ridiculous bill. Um, it will never be free. You can count on that. It will always be something that you need, you may, and more than likely you may not need, but they want you to get it anyways just to have business. Anyhow, in that regard, the way to do it without going to the dealership is you got to get one of these bad boys an obd 11. now there are different versions this is the android version i think they have the iphone version out now so you take one of these bad boys and plug it in the obd port so let's do that make sure it's upright and the OBD, OBD port, it should be at the bottom of the dash, bottom left corner, in upright position. You just find a plug. I'm going to do it right now. Feeling my hand in there. Oh, found it. Now in. Now it's plugged in. Into the OBD port of the vehicle. Now, I'm holding my phone. I borrowed my uncle's phone. He's in the house. So, I'm going to open that up right now. And I downloaded the OBD-11 on his phone. I'm going to show you that here. So, first you have to turn on Bluetooth. My Bluetooth is on, or his Bluetooth. And you go to the OBD app. Hit connect. Let's see what it does. Now it's asking for permission, OBD, yes. That's the name. And there's, there's other apps here from my neighbors picking up. But, okay, I'm going to enter the password for, to sign in the app. Okay. Now it's logging in. Press OK. i got to keep adjusting the contrast. Now it's connecting to the vehicle or to the device, and the device is connected to the vehicle. And this is to reset the maintenance. The oil, you can do it from the MMI control module that comes from the factory. Okay, for the maintenance, this is the only way to do it without going to the dealership. So you, you go to the top left menu here. There's like a three dash or drop bar. Okay, you're going to go down and you're going to select car. And you're going to select apps. And it's loading. Let it load. Now go to the workshop. Now you see the oil service reset. You can do that with the vehicle. You don't have to do it through the OBD-11. Now, here's the inspection reset. Now it's loading. All right, so I'm gonna reset the inspection. They buy you not charged. So I got six credit here. Anyways, you need ten credit or whatever. 
to do it. But this is how you do it, okay? You go to, you have to get the OBD11. You have to go through what I said, the drop menu, select car, select apps, and go to workshop or what have you, and find inspection service reset. And that's how you reset and go through here, pay the credits, a few bucks or whatever it may cost is still cheaper than going to the dealership and then just reset your inspection intervals here now that the other things with this this app you can you know you can scan the vehicle you can do you can you know adjust other things on here there's there's other things you can do here with the app you can do diagnostics Just many, many other things on the app here. You can you know, diagnose your engine, the fuel pressure, air and fuel ratio, that kind of stuff. Any warning lights and things like that, you can scan and delete and read them. So it is a nice, handy little device, OBD-11. And this, this is for European car. So... I think it's about a hundred dollars, but you can you can get one, and this is what you would need to delete your inspection service interval warning on your dash when that comes on. All right, this covers it. As you see, it's a pretty neat tool. One last thing guys, before I conclude this inspection and oil service and maintenance intervals reset, you actually make sure you inspect your vehicles, don't just reset them and just because you know how to reset them, make sure you check your ball joints, your struts, your sway bar links, your bushing, your control arms, your CV axles, the boots your spark plugs, your transmission fluid, brake fluid, you know, brake pads, tire condition, bulbs, everything. Make sure you inspect your car and follow the proper intervals and maintenance schedules. Now, it is true, you know, they program these cars. You go in, they say, oh, it's a free diagnostic, free this, free that, or, or free service something, but they end up hitting you with something else. They, they have to make money out of you. It's just the name of the business, just like the healthcare system in America is a business. Um, I know uh, it's, it's sad to say that, but it's true. A lot of things of business now is about getting rich quick, making money. It's hard to find things that are honest and upfront. That's true with mechanic, true with healthcare professionals, it's true with just about everything. So just be informed, you know, do what is common sense and make sure your car is actually up to stuff, not just resetting it just because you don't want to see the warning light on your dash. All right. Your coolant or end freeze need to be flush if it's if it's supercharged you have a supercharger flu fluid or coolant um, might be a different reservoir might be electronic pump might be a crank pump it's two separate water pump not the not the engine coolant pump it might be the supercharger water pump 
you know, depending on your vehicle setup, there's other things. There's power steering. You might have electronic power steering. You might have a manual hydraulic pump power steering that require fluid changing. And going back to supercharger, supercharger you have oil as well, not just the motor oil. You have supercharger oil. So make sure, like I said, you follow your maintenance schedules and intervals. And make sure you, you you go about it the correct way. Now, I just showed you how to reset it, how to get rid of, of the annoying service interval that, that shows on your dash. So this is the way to do it for this certain vehicle. Every vehicle is a little bit different. You know, there's, there's other program, not just OBD-11. There's VACOM or all these weird gadgets out there that you can do it. But I went with this one because the price were ethical and it gets the job done. All right. Have a blessed rest of your day. And again, I hope you learned something and stay informed.